Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. And let's go and take a look at this equation word problem. This is something that uh, those of you in pre-algebra and algebra one should be able to handle. But uh, here's the problem. And before I get into it, you might want to pause the video and see if you can solve it. So the problem is the sum of two consecutive integers is 31. What are the integers? Okay, so a couple of things here. Before you can solve the problem, we need to understand the words that are in the problem itself. Okay, so some of these words that we really need to make sure we understand are integers and consecutive. Okay, so those are probably the most common words that might give a student confusion. So let's just uh, take a look at this word integers. Most of you probably have a pretty good idea what an integer is. Let's just review real quick. So on a real number line, Okay, this is my real number line here, zero. The numbers that go, uh, that start with one, okay, two, three, four, these are basically the whole numbers, but we include zero and then on and on and on to the right, okay. Well, these are integers, but the also, okay, we include the negative of these numbers, okay, and on and on and on to the left, okay, so all these numbers here are integers. So now we have to now that we have a basic idea of what integers are, and of course this uh, should be reviewed for you pre-algebra, algebra one students, and of course if you're in algebra two, this is uh, a, a nice little problem for you to review as well. So the sum of two consecutive integers is 31. What are the integers? So now let's take a look at this word consecutive. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase my number line. All right, let me just draw, write out some integers here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on and on and on. So consecutive would be one number, a number, and then a number right after it. Okay, so 2 and 3 would be consecutive numbers. So 5 and 6 would be consecutive numbers as well. Okay, so it's the number and then the next number that follows that number. Okay, that's what the word consecutive means. So now that you have a basic idea what those, uh, or a very good idea what consecutive is and integers is, maybe you want to go ahead and pause the video and try it. It's always best that you try this, these problems first before I go over them. I think you get more out of it um, in that way. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the problem. All right, so the sum of two consecutive integers is 31. What are the integers? Well, this is an, uh, this is an example of an equation word problem, so we're going to have to use a variable. So let's just say um, we could choose any consecutive integers, so it's nice to kind of maybe model out um, some actual integers to kind of see what's going on. So let's say 2, I want to assign the variable x, okay, to, to uh, uh, modeling an integer, and then the next integer after x would be what? Okay, it would be one more, okay? It would, I'm just adding on one more to get to the next consecutive integer, so it would be x plus 1. Okay, so x and x plus 1 would be my integer and the next consecutive integer. Okay, so let's take a look at 5 and 6. It doesn't make a difference what integers we're kind of modeling here. Okay, this could be my integer and then my next consecutive integer is going to be just one more than that previous integer. Okay, that seems maybe a little confusing, but once you kind of really understand that with algebra, when we're using variables, we have to be able to model what the problem is asking us. Okay, so two consecutive integers would be x and x plus one. So if you understand that, I think that might be the hardest problem hardest part of the problem for, for most students out there. But if you understand that, then the rest of this should kind of come together pretty nicely. Okay, so here's an integer and or he, and its next, um, uh, the consecutive integer that follows it. Okay, so the sum of these two consecutive integers is going to be 31. So now we can kind of set up a nice equation. Okay, so which would be this, x plus x plus 1, okay, is 31, okay? So this is the sum, let me kind of draw it this way, this is the sum of two consecutive integers, okay? And it's equal to 31. Maybe we can go ahead and just take a look at that and study that. If you understand the equation setup, that's the hardest problem, part of the problem. 
uh, for most students with when it comes to word problems, then the rest should kind of flow naturally. Okay. All right. So hopefully most of you out there can solve this problem. Um, solve this equation. X plus x plus one equals thirty-one. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. So we have x and x. Okay. So that'd be two x plus one is equal to thirty-one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And I get 2x equals 30. And notice how I'm working this equation. You want nice, neat, organized work always. Okay, and then if you kind of deviate from that, what you're doing is kind of creating bad habits. So always maintain good working habits because they're going to pay off hugely for you math students out there. It's going to really... Uh, diminish or reduce your chances of uh, making errors. Okay, so here we have 2x equals 30. It's the last part of this problem. Divide both sides of the equation by 2 and I get x is equal to 15. Okay, so that would be one integer but the other integer is x plus 1 so x plus 1 would be 15 plus 1, right? So x plus 1 is 15 plus one more is 16. So my consecutive integers would be 15 and 16. And that makes sense, right? That's an 15 and 16 are both integers and they're consecutive. And when we add them up, okay, we get 31. All right, so that is the solution to this uh, problem. These um, uh, uh, type of word problems are really, I think, very good. They kind of bring in a lot of different skill sets for algebra students. Um, kind of have to interpret um, the problem, model it, set up an equation, etc. So the more extra practice you can do, the better. All right, so for those of you that aren't familiar with tablet class math, let me just kind of uh, scroll down here real quick. So we have um, homeschool math programs uh, for middle and high school math, and we have an excellent free demo. So come on over to tabletclass.com or tell your friends about it if you uh, are in fact taking a tablet class math course now. We have excellent courses for really, really nice uh, affordable prices. So anyways, thanks for watching the video and have a great day.